Hi friends, how are you today? I am Lorena Televadra and I am here to tell you all about school bus safety with my friend Buster and Pete. Buster's sleeping so we have to wake him up. What song do you think will be a good song for a little person like Buster to wake up to? Yes, yes, yes. It's the wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus, yay, good job. Okay, so Buster was out last night with the PJ mask and he was going through the night to save the day, everybody. So now we have to sing the wheels on the bus in order to get him moving. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Oh my goodness, how fun! I'm fantastic, but did I sleep through school bus safety? No, we are all fantastic and I can't wait to tell the kids all about my very favorite subject in the whole wide world which is school bus safety. Good job Buster. Okay well let's start with how our friends are supposed to act at the school bus stop. How do you think that you should act at the school bus stop kids? Buster? Yes. How do you think that they should uh, act at the school bus stop. Should they be running around, pushing, touching one another? Oh, no, Miss Lorena. And kids, make sure when you're at your school bus stop that you're talking to your friends, you're having fun, but we want to remain social distanced, socially distanced, mm -hmm. and we don't want to be running in the street, playing kickball or anything like that. We want to watch for our bus, talk to our friends, and be ready to get on the bus when it gets here. Very good, Buster. That's awesome. Also, should they be wearing something? Oh, kids, this is new this year. Don't forget to wear your mask. All Parkway students and teachers are going to be wearing masks this year. Masks this year? Yes. Oh, my. Okay, Buster. Well, what about how do we stand on the bus stop? If we are not next to a curb, how far do we stand but, uh, away from the curb? Buster, could you tell our friends? I sure can. Kids, when you're at the bus stop, there's no curb. You want to make sure you're 10 big steps back away from the street. How far, Buster? 10 big steps. Good job. Good job. Okay, so Buster, if we're 10 big steps away from the bus stop and we and we are waiting and we're quiet waiting for our, our bus to come down, what is it that we should be looking for, Buster? Well, you want to be watching for the bus coming down the street. Your bus number will be in the window right about where my eyeball is. And then, right before the bus gets to your stop, you're going to see my yellow warning lights. Does that mean that we can cross the street, Buster? Oh, no. Not yet, Miss Lorena. The yellow warning lights are to warn all the other cars and trucks and everyone that, hey, I'm getting ready to stop and pick up my kids, so let's be watching for kids crossing the street. Good idea, Buster. Then what do we look for? Well, then when the bus comes to a complete stop, you're going to see my red warning lights go off uh -huh. and my stop arm come out Okay. and my crossing come on, arm come out. Oh, okay. And one other thing, what there's going to be a sound and it's my very favorite sound in the whole wide world. Do you want to hear it? Yes, can you tell us your favorite sound? Kids, I want you to hear it and then I want you to do it with me. It's, it goes like this. It's the sound of my air brake going off and it sounds like this. One, two, three. Kids, can you do that? One, 
One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Good job, Buster. So now is it safe to cross the street? Well, there's one more thing. Kids, what is the thing that your parents have always told you to do before you cross the street? Miss Lorraine, I know you know. I think it's look both ways. Look both ways, yes! We always look both ways before we cross the street. So, now it's time to get ready to cross the street. We look both ways. We start by going left, right, and left again. Okay, now is it safe to cross the street, Buster? Now we look up at our driver and we wait for our driver to give us a wave that, hey, it's okay to cross the street because our driver sits way up high in the school bus and can see things coming that we might not be able to see. So let's give our driver a wave. Give him a high five, Buster. Cross over in front of him. But Buster. What, Miss Arena? My, my, my driver has a mask on. Oh, yes. Remember, kids, we told you everyone's going to be wearing a mask this year. Even the driver? The driver will be wearing a mask also. Oh, okay. So I'll wait for the high five, and then I can cross the street. And then you can cross the street, because we already looked. Left, right, left. Okay. We looked at our driver. It's time to cross the street. Okay. In front of the bus, we go around the crossing arm. We don't go under it. No. We don't go over it. No. We go around it. Oh, okay. Why? Well, well, the reason we do that is because it's called the danger zone. That crossing arm keeps us far enough away from the front of the school bus that the driver can see us. You see, if you get too close to the bus, in the front or on the sides, or in the back, the driver can't see you. So we want to make sure you stay out of the danger zone. Okay, kids. So I'm going to play a little trick on Buster. So hold on just a second. Hey, hey, Miss Serena. Where are you? I don't see you, Miss Serena. Where'd you go? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Buster. I wanted the kids to see where not to go on the school bus. Okay? It is very, very dangerous for us. Oh. For, for, for the drivers. Yes. Okay? For the children. Because the drivers cannot see them. So, Buster, can you tell the children why it is dangerous for them to be in the back of the uh, school bus and on the sides of the school bus? Oh, yes, kids. Miss Lorena is so right. There's an area all the way around the bus, even in the very front, that's called the danger zone. Kids, can you say that with Miss Lorena and I when we say it? The danger zone. The reason we like to say it like that is because it's a very dangerous place to be and we don't want anyone to get hurt. And sometimes kids think, oh, the closer I get to the bus, even in the front, the better the driver can see me. Can but you that's see me? not No, I can't see you very well. Oh, now I can see you better. Oh, okay. When you get a little bit further away from the bus, the driver can see you in the mirrors. But when you're too close, the driver can't see you, especially in the back of the bus. Oh, that's the real danger zone. We never, ever cross in the back of the bus because the driver can't see you at all back there. So, we cross in the front. We don't get too close to the bus anywhere around. The only time we're in the danger zone is to pass through the danger zone to get onto the bus or off of the bus. But Buster, what if we are running to the bus, a child is running to the bus, and they have their favorite library book that they have to re remember to return, and all of a sudden, oops, it falls. Ah, uh, well, so, oh, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, see, oh, oh, see what oh, can happen? Oh, oh, Buster! Oh, oh no, we oh. never bend down and pick anything up that we've dropped around the bus. You want to get on the bus and say, hey, bus driver, I dropped my SpongeBob book. Can I go out and get it? And if the driver says it's okay, then you can go get it. Okay, so just as a reminder, we never, ever, ever pick up anything around the school bus, even if we feel it's important. That's right, because it's in the danger zone, and that's a very dangerous place to be. So again, as a reminder, we get on the bus, and we tell the bus driver what happened, and ask if we can go pick it up. And the driver will let you know what you can do. Okay, Buster, that is so important for us to know. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. It's important now. So, but I, but, oh, oh. but Buster, there's no door here. I'm only five, Miss Lorraine. I haven't grown my door yet. Oh, so does Buster's brothers and sisters have a door? Oh, yeah, so all my big brothers and sisters have doors. Billy Bob, Betty Sue, they all have doors. Oh, so how am I supposed to get on the bus? Am I supposed to push and shove and move my friends out of the way so I can get on there first? Well, when you're getting on one of my big brothers and sisters, they're going to have a door, and they're going to have steps, and they're going to have a handrail. We're not going to push and shove. We're going to get on the stairs one at a time, and we're going to hold on to the handrail for safety. Oh, hold the handrail for safety. Awesome. Okay, so I get on the bus. Um, bus where do I sit? Well, you're going to sit in the first seats available right behind the bus driver. So, when you get on the bus, the first seat you come to that's available, sit there behind the driver. And then you can get to know your driver, and your driver will get to know you. The driver will know where you live and what stop you get off at. So, get to know your school bus driver. Okay, so we're on the bus, and I'm sitting there with my friends, but like, Buster, sometimes, you know, I get excited and like I want to show my friends like all the stuff that I have. And so since there was no baseball this summer, like, you know, I just wanted to bring my ball from last year and I'm going to show all my friends my ball from last year. So I bring my ball and is it okay for like me to like throw it to Johnny or Billy, you know, because like, um, I just want them to see it. So it's okay for me to throw the ball on the ball? Oh no, kids, never throw a ball or anything on the school bus. Somebody could get hit with it. The uh, school bus driver could get distracted by it. And we want to make sure that our driver is paying attention to the road and all the things going on on the road so he or she gets us to and from school safely. Well, Buster, you mentioned that we get on the bus and we sit behind the driver. So, how do we like sit on the bus? Well, we sit bottoms down and we're going to only have two kids to a seat this year. We're not going to have three so we can social distance, but we're going to make sure when we sit down, I like to say bottoms down. That means our bottoms to the bottom of the seat and our backs to the back of the seat. We don't stand on the seat. We don't climb over the seat. We sit there and talk to our friend next to us and have a good time. Oh, okay. But, okay, so we sit bottoms to the bottoms, our backs to the backs. Okay, but like, I want to put my book bag like out away from me. Like maybe it can be like in the aisle or somewhere like that bus. You, don't you think that would be a good space for a thing? Oh, kids, no. We never want to put our backpacks or our lunch boxes or any our instruments, anything that we bring it has to remain in the seat area with us because if you have anything in the aisle, we're picking kids up and dropping kids off all the time. And if you have anything in that aisle, somebody could trip over it and get hurt. So no feet in the aisle either? No feet either, because your feet could get stepped on by one of those big old fifth graders. Oh my. And that would hurt. 
Yes, it would, Buster. Okay, so Buster, we are sitting there on the school bus and and we're talking to our friends, but you know, like, you know, my friends are like way back there in the back, and so I really want to talk to them, but it's like so far, so like I have to raise my voice and I have to talk like really, really loud so all my friends can hear me. So it's okay for us to yell, right? Oh, no, kids. We want to use our inside voice on the bus, just like when you're in the classroom. Because, again, we don't want to distract our bus driver. When you get a bus full of kids yelling and screaming, that's going to be pretty distracting for the bus driver. So, inside voices. Oh, so we use our inside voice when... Yes. Got it. Got it. Okay, so, okay, so how about we're like riding the bus, right Buster? And then like we're passing up all our mommies and daddies, okay? And my mommy like loves me so much that she wants to send me a kiss and say, bye honey, bye love, I'll see you later. So like, okay, I'm short, so like I can get up, okay? And like hang out the window and say, bye, bye mommy, bye, see you later. No. See you. Bye oh. mommy. Miss Lorena, of course you cannot do that. No? No, kids, we never put anything out of the window. Our heads, oh. our arms, or anything out the window because uh, the trees are really tall, but so are my big brothers and sisters. And if you have anything out that window and there happens to be a low hang, ow, yeah, a low ow, Miss Lorena. I'm, so, I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Buster, but we had to tell all of our friends all about the low-hanging tree branches. Can you please tell them why it is not okay for them to put their hands, arms, or anything out of that school bus window? Well, like I was saying, with those low-hanging branches, when they hit the side of the bus, if your head or your arm is out that window, when that head, ow! That is really gonna hurt. So never, ever put anything outside of that window. Okay, Buster. Huh. Well, Buster. Huh. Oh, huh. Buster. Oh, wait a minute, Miss Lorraine. I Buster, forgot you okay? to tell you. No, wait, 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 wait. It's my wait. allergies, Miss Lorraine. Wait, 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 We didn't talk about eating on the bus, Buster. No. We didn't talk about taking things out of our book bags because they're so delicious that our mommies and daddies have fixed for us. And we forgot about talking about not putting things in our mouth when we're on the bus. Can you tell the students why it's important not to eat on the school bus, Buster? Oh, yes, kids, there's a couple of really, really good reasons we don't eat on the school bus. Well, first of all, sometimes our friends have food allergies. You know, I just had a little bit of an allergic reaction to the trees, but some kids have allergies to food, and you may not have an allergy to a certain kind of food, but the friend next to you on the bus might have an allergy to what you want to eat on the bus, and it could make them very, very sick. So, we don't eat any food on the bus. No the, eating on the bus. No oh. eating on the bus. And the other reason, and very good reason also, is that we could get something caught in our throat, and the bus driver is so busy driving the bus that the driver might not realize that you need some help. You might be choking. So, oh. we never eat on the bus. Okay, so no eating on the bus. No. 
Okay, because that would not be safe. No, it would not. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. So we no eating on the bus. No. Uh, no being loud on the bus. No. Uh, no sticking your hands out. No. Uh, let's see. No feet in the aisle. No. No throwing on the bus. No throwing on the bus. Uh, I think. I think we've covered it. What about when they get to school on the first day? Well, kids, when you get to school on the first day, I know you might be a little nervous, but don't be nervous because there's going to be grown-ups at the school that are going to come to your bus, get you off the bus, and make sure you get to your right class. And then in the afternoon when you're getting on the bus to go back home, Somebody is get you, gonna get you on your right bus to make sure that you get home. So, you see, there's nothing to worry about. That is awesome, Buster. The only changes that we have made thus far is to make sure that we have proper distancing and proper hand washing techniques before we get on the school bus. That's right, everything else is pretty similar from before. But these kids haven't been on the school bus before, so oh. this is all new to them, Miss Lorena. Oh, well, and the masks would be new for them also, The masks they? are new for everyone. Oh, okay. So you think we've covered everything? I think we have, Miss Lorena. I think the kids have a really good idea of how to drive our ride on the school bus, what to do and what not to do, and I think they're going to have a really, really good year. Oh my goodness. Well, kids, you have a wonderful, wonderful 2000, yes. 2021 school year from the Buster team at Parkway School District. Bye. Yay. I'm Mr. Bill from Parkway School District. I wanted to go over a couple of ideas and thoughts about uh, school bus safety as it relates to the parents. As we've already talked about with Buster, Drivers will all be wearing a mask and all the students will be wearing a mask and social distancing on the school bus this year. There will also be plenty of hand sanitizer available on the school bus for the kids to stay clean. Uh, message for kindergarten parents, very, very important. Parkway drivers, we will not dispense, we will not debark a kindergarten student without the parent being there. The parent must be there. Be there. Now, if there's an older sibling on the school bus at the same time, then that they know the drill for school bus safety. They can escort the kindergarten parent, kindergarten student off the bus. But a kindergarten student alone will not be debarked from the school bus. Uh, one thing you need to do is the first few days of the first few weeks of the school year, get to know your bus driver. If we stop at your stop and little Mary doesn't get off the bus at her stop, walk up to the school bus and say, Mr. Bill, I'm Mary's mom. Is Mary on the school bus? Mary may have fallen asleep. She may not be able to see over the window and see that we are in fact at her stop. So don't be shy, get to know your bus driver and be sure to ask, where is my child, Little is Mary Smith on the school bus today? Uh, the first week, we're going to run late because it's the first times in school for the kids. There's gonna be a lot of Kodak moments. Parents, grandparents taking pictures of the kids both embarking on the bus and getting off the bus. So please allow extra time for the Kodak moments that are so important for these young kids going to school and riding the bus for the first time. Okay. Good. Welcome to Parkway. Riding the school bus is an extremely exciting and rewarding experience. The kids will love it, socializing with their fellow students. It will really be a great social experience and a great learning experience. So welcome to Parkway and Parkway Transportation.